The following procedures will help you install an Insincorator food service disposer properly. First, if this is not a new installation, clear the drain line of any waste. Auger the drain line from the drain trap to the main waste line to ensure that it is clear. A typical installation incorporates the following items. Disposer, disposer mounting, control center, solenoid valve, flow control valve, siphon breaker, electrical supply, drain line, water shutoff valve, and the cold water supply. Prior to unpacking, verify the carton labels match each other and the power supply. After unpacking, check to ensure that the spec plate on both the disposer and the control panel match the power supply. If required, install the disposer leg assembly on the SS50 to SS200 disposers. Note that the SS300 and the larger disposers come with factory installed legs. If your disposer is using a competitive mounting adapter, it is recommended to install it with legs. Also, use legs if the SS150 and SS200 is using the number 5 sink flange. To install the legs, first turn the unit upside down. Pry two guide hole plugs from the bottom cover. Make sure the threaded stud is extended a minimum of 1 and 1 8 inches from the outer tube assembly. Insert the leg assemblies through the lower end frame guide holes. Insert the screwdriver into the tube assembly and position in the slotted end of the threaded stud. Tighten the threaded stud into the threaded holes located in the upper end bell and tighten both studs. Place the O-ring on the tube assembly and push up flush against the bottom cover. Place the washer inside of the guide hole plugs and place on the bottom of the outer tube assembly. Now you're ready to install the disposer. The legs can be adjusted by turning the outer tube assembly until the assembly legs stand on the floor. To mount a disposer to an insincorator sink bowl or to a number six or seven mounting adapter, follow these instructions. Place the mounting flange up over the existing collar adapter connection lip. It may require a slight force fit. Push the mounting flange up out of the way and fit the mounting gasket onto the sink bowl connection lip. Move the mounting flange down over the mounting gasket. Be certain that the threaded fasteners in the mounting flange fit into recesses in the top of the mounting gasket. Attach two screws through opposite holes in the mounting gasket and into the threaded fasteners in the mounting flange. The screws should be protruding approximately one quarter inch below the mounting gasket. Position the disposer beneath the mounting gasket and engage the two protruding screws in the keyhole slots in the disposer body flange. This may require the use of an assistant or a block of wood to ease installation. Assemble the remaining four screws and turn the disposer into place for plumbing connections. Tighten all screws evenly to secure the unit. To install a number five sink flange, follow the instructions supplied with the kit. The number five sink flange mounts to a standard three and a half to four inch opening. When installing an insincorator disposer to another type of sink bowl, a special mounting adapter is required. We have adapters to fit most sink designs. Consult the adapter guide for more information. When connecting the disposer to the incoming water supply, use as few elbows and tees as possible. Connect to the cold water line only. Install the flow control valve, water solenoid valve, and the siphon breaker according to the direction of the flow arrows marked on each valve body. It is recommended to use a shutoff valve. Use the supplied water flow restrictor to ensure you have proper flow. If there is too much water in the disposer, food will not grind completely. If there is too little water in the disposer, the food waste may not flow to the main sewer line. When connecting the drain line, place the P-trap or floor drain as close to the disposer outlet flange as possible. Do not use plumber's putty on the threaded connection. Instead, use tape. Do not flex the connection. Consult the installation guide to find the recommended drain line diameter for your disposer model. Check to make sure the proper slope is used with the connection going from the disposer to the floor drain or sewer connection. With this installation, we're showing you the AquaSaver Disposer Control Center, which operates the disposer and control center operations. Each control has its own installation manual detailing how to connect the disposer, control, solenoid valve, and power supply. Make sure the control center is properly grounded. If this is a new installation, make sure there is no construction debris in the disposer grind chamber. Verify the disposer is functioning properly by checking for leaks at the fresh water connections, mounting collar, and the waste outlet. 
checking for excessive vibration. And if the control center has reversing capabilities, confirm that it will reverse. If the control center is equipped with a post flush, ensure that the water runs after the disposer is turned off per the post flush setting, one to 10 minutes. For more details on troubleshooting and operation, reference the installation manual included with your disposer. All disposers are backed by a one-year on-site warranty on parts and labor. Incinerator, the most trusted name in food waste management.